French plan for the conquest of Algeria had matured long before the famous blow with the whisk incident that France used as a pretext to invade the country, exploit its wealth and strategic location, and to open a gateway to Africa. The story began when an armada of nearly 700 ships set sail from the port of Toulon, carrying an army of over 37,000 men. The troops, led by Admiral de Bourmont, landed on July 14, 1830, at Sidiford, 27 kilometers west of Algiers. The coast of Sidiford was chosen with the aim of attacking the city of Algiers by land, given the difficulty of occupying it from the sea. Once the first troops landed, they were immediately attacked by a resistance force gathered by the ruler of Algiers Regency, Day Hussein, and backed by forces of Ahmed Bey, the local ruler of Constantine, and local population. After violent bombardments by warships, the French seized the Algerian artillery, which prompted the resistance fighters to set up a camp on Stawili Heights. But they did not hold out long. Resistance forces managed to drive the invaders back after suffering heavy losses. However, the French soldiers were able to open the road and connect the camps of Sidi Fraj and Stawali. Due to the imbalance of power and the lack of necessary fortification of the city, Algiers fell into the hands of the occupying army, and the rule of Algiers Regency was forced to surrender on July 5, 1830. As the central government collapsed in the city of Algiers, people of Metidia region rallied to organize the first informal armed resistance to confront the incursion of the occupation army outside the capital. From the very beginning, the French aspired to seize the region, for it was the main supply of the city of Algiers in terms of livestock and agricultural products. In a bid to break the siege, the occupation army mobilized about 1,400 soldiers to extend its influence over the city of Blida and suffered its first defeats against tribal leaders. Then violent confrontations continued unabated until the region was fully occupied in 1838. Despite France's systematic and ferocious colonial policy, Algerian people countered enemy plans since the first years of invasion. Through popular resistance movements led by local leaders, the most notable of which was the popular resistance led by Emir Abdel Qader, who fought battles that terrified the enemy, and the resistance by Ahmed Bey, in addition to a series of popular movements led by local tribes like Zahatsha, Al Muqrani, Al Haddad, Amud, Ulad Sidi Sheikh, and Sheikh Barmama, which continued until the beginning of the 20th century. Indeed, these popular uprisings immortalized the history of Algerian people's resistance against French occupation as they paved the way for the national movement and November the 1st, 1954 Glorious Revolution.